Hi guys and welcome back to my channel Popcorn Reviews. I'm Farhad. If you're new to this channel, then please smash that subscribe button now. And I am here again on a Saturday. Generally, I don't make videos on a Saturday, but this time there are so many good movies that I, I did tend to think that yeah, let's make a video uh, this Saturday as well. And the movie that I am going to be discussing today is the Telugu film Sita Ramam. which had a theatrical release and thus uh, after janagana mana which was the first malayalam film that i watched in a theater uh, sita ramam is the first telugu film that i watched in a theater in its native language i mean i have watched uh, bahubali bahubali 2 and uh, you know you can say major major was a hindi uh, a film also bilingual but yeah bahubali and uh, rrr i have watched but this is the first that i watched in its native language with subtitles so this is a first by the way and uh, when it comes to romances i feel that uh, you know the old school romance has been dying you know the movies that we grew up with at least i grew up with like uh, ddlj or veer zara you know uh, such movies you know which have that old world charm uh, you know of um, exchanging letters or uh, waiting for endlessly for your lover all those are missing and i feel that uh, especially when it comes to romances uh, the telugu film industry is a bit under the microscope considering the fact that uh, you know they uh, have some misrepresentation uh, especially in the commercial entertainers which uh, pass off you know some of the most awkward and cringy sequences as romantic or even funny so i feel that uh, telugu film industry was found wanting having said that having said that i feel uh, telugu film industry also uh, did uh, bring up some of the uh, romantic films like you know ante sundarkani uh, uh, you know uh, such type of films or radhesham radhesham was in great and i'll speak about that but it uh, uh, was in great so the old school charm still is being churned up to an extent by the telugu film industry which i don't think others are doing that i remember the last film that i really enjoyed was 96 and that was a tamil film uh, other than that no so when i went for sita ramam i was getting the recommendations from one of our subscribers manjunath and thank you manju for recommending this film to me uh, i happened to watch this in a theater i managed to uh, catch that one show that was there with english subtitles and uh, here is my review so sita ramam is actually a love story between an army officer who uh, uh, accidentally you know discovers a bunch of letters which are delivered to him uh, by an unknown lady and thus uh, brings out his curiosity and cut to there is a third character as well which is the link between the uh, two protagonists i can just give that much uh, as a spoiler free uh, review uh, i am giving it a spoiler free review because the uh, movie is still running in theaters and it will make its way to ott so i won't be giving out any spoilers uh, but uh, when it comes to romance you know i feel the uh, first half uh, it was a little meandering i would think uh, when i see meandering there it did take its while for the setup so you need to be a little patient with the first half you know uh, you will see multiple tracks that are running through and uh, you won't directly get to see that love story which you would be used to in a romantic film you can see you know even the third reel uh, would start the romantic track but not with this film this film does take its time for build up in between there are a few scenes of comedy which i felt wasn't really required but then at the end of the day uh, telugu films generally are multi genre and uh, you have to take that in your stride as well i think the comedy did not sit right in this film having said that having said that the love story when it gets to it it uh, it's beautiful it is very soulful it uh, absolutely captures that old world charm beautifully and uh, the second half especially has that element of mystery as well as to how the individual events are linked together you know and that was the fun of it uh, i would think uh, it, all the loose ends i would say the tracks i wouldn't say the loose ends but the tracks that were there in the first half they all come together in the second half in a very big man i think the second half was quite brilliant here and uh, it did tie lot of its elements together right at the end and it also uh, gave a good commentary on uh, religion you know this is a um, 
cross religion sort of a love story and something that i was reminded of v zara as well uh, that is one film that instantly just struck me is th- uh, thinking about this film and you when you check out the film you'll see why i'm saying that but uh, you know uh, the characters that were there they were very well developed here and the characterization uh, made you root for the love uh, the couple that was here and it made you feel for the lovers in the film and which was something which was very beautiful and missing in uh, today's times which are uh, more tilted towards thrillers and mysteries this film did the screenplay here especially did come off like a breath of fresh air towards the end there were multiple twists although uh, fairly predictable i would say fairly predictable but uh, the multiple twists that were there they were uh, pretty good and the way they tied up uh, each element of the screenplay i felt that was something that was very interesting uh, to see uh, uh also the first introductory sequence of where uh, a character is uh you know uh, saying uh, pakistan zindabad could have so easily been blown out on social media if it's given without context but when you look at the entire film you would understand where that character is coming from and what sort of an arc that character goes through so i think that was something that was pretty interesting overall a lovely screenplay although it requires a little patience in the first half specifically I mean, to the technical aspects, I feel the dialogues are beautiful. They're poignant, uh, almost poetic, and uh, they make for a good viewing. Very impactful viewing. The music is very good. The BGM is outstanding. It is such a beautiful BGM score. It just entered my heart, and it was just playing in my head even after the film uh, got over. It is beautiful, uh, and the cinematography is excellent. Some of the most breathtaking and exquisite shots are uh, captured um, here and it is something beautiful and the film is made only at a budget of 30 crore so this is a bit of a steal and uh, given the production value that was there uh, this is everything that i expected from radhesham which was absolutely disastrous and average or glitz and less substance i would say that film but here it did live up to it also it was not only glitz and glam there was substance to the love story the direction was pretty good here it was excellent uh, in cultivating a love story uh, in the old world charm you know old world charm because the era also set here is between 1964 to 1985 so that era i think uh, i wouldn't say whether it was captured well or not but that was an old school charm where you know the romances were interlinked with Uh, letters also the religion angle i think was excellently portrayed as well um, in the narrative it gave a good message of humanity over religion uh, coming to the performance i think this was a multi star cast with uh, actor from every industry was present jishu was there pavan chopra sir was there uh, sachin khedekar was there prakash raj was there um, even brunal and uh, uh dulka salman you know uh, dulka is from the malayalam industry munal is was in television then bollywood and now in telugu so it's an interesting mix bag of performers who do a splendid job but the lead couple i think uh, they did a fabulous job they have a crackling chemistry together munal and dq as we call him and uh, dq has such a effortless charm to his character you know every time he comes on screen he makes he puts a smile on your face there's something that is very affable about him very likable personality also even if i keep the character of ram aside it's a very likable personality and ronal look very pretty <laughs> and uh, she uh, you know especially in the emotional moments in the second half of vulnerability was beautifully po- uh, portrayed i think uh, i'd said uh, in my review of jersey that that was the best performance of her career i think this matches that as well Sita as Sita uh, she does a pretty good job she does an excellent job rather Rashmika Mandana also does a good job generally i think her acting isn't the best not one of my favorites to be honest but here she does a good she's done a good job here you know so do i recommend Sita Ramam i absolutely do recommend Sita Ramam if you are a fan of uh, you know romantic films or you are sucker for romances like i am uh, i don't get to see too many of romantic films nowadays but uh, yeah i would highly recommend this film this is a good watch and a very good soulful love story which uh, does somewhere touch you uh, towards the end and um, 
that is the video guys so if you are liking this video please smash that like button please let me know what your thoughts about the film are also let me know if there are any recommendations and thank you so much manjunath for this recommendation and uh, it was a lovely film and even anai one of my friends anai had also recommended it so anai if you are watching thank you so much for the recommendation as well and uh, please uh, subscribe to the channel it helps a small creator like me liking and subscribing does help a small creator like me and helps the youtube algorithm as well and other than that please read my full review of uh, sita ramam uh, the on my site popcorn reviews with a double s the link of which is in the description box below also follow me on twitter instagram facebook letterbox all links are in the description box below so then until next time thank you so much